Hello expert investors, really quick video here. Biggest question we get when I'm teaching the multifamily, multi-residential uh, classes we teach is what is a cap rate? We all hear cap rate, cap, what is a cap rate? It is a capitalization rate. Capitalization. How come I always have a crappy marker? Capitalization rate. Okay, that's all, it's just a short form. Cap rate, capitalization rate. Now, how do you figure out a cap rate? Very simple. The net operating income, NOI, divided by the price equals your cap. Your cap is always a ratio or a percentage. Let me demonstrate. If you have a building, let's say it's a six unit building, and um, you have Six units, each unit brings in a thousand a month. You got six thousand a month times twelve months a year. What's that? Seventy-four thousand annual income. Okay. Seventy-four thousand annual income uh, minus your operating expenses. Okay, operating expenses would be property taxes, insurance. Uh, any utilities that the landlord would pay, maintenance, uh, management fees, you know, it could be some landscaping, grass cutting, snow removal, anything to maintain the building, okay? Let's say the operating, a good number to use is 40%. That's not always the case, but it, 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 uh, uh, it is a good number to use. But for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna keep this very easy, okay? Uh, we're gonna say it's 24,000. Okay, that means, so 74,000 minus, so that's uh, gross income, operating expense, and this equals 50,000. You're left with 50,000 and that is your net operating income. So it's basically your gross income minus your operating expenses gives you net income. Very simple. Now, the price, what's the price? Well. You have to tell me what the price is. What's the price of this sixplex that you're buying? Let's say it's a million bucks, okay? A million bucks. So we're gonna take our NOI over our price. Remember, 50,000 NOI divided by 1 million price, okay? I should say PP purchase price. 50,000 NOI divided by 1 million purchase price equals 0 0.05. Reflected as a percentage, it's 5%, okay? So the cap rate on this building is 5%. Now, let's have some fun. What if the purchase price was 800,000 instead of 1 million? What happens? Well, we take 50K and I need my calculator. One second. Fifty thousand divided by eight hundred thousand equals. Point zero six two five. Okay, reflected as a percentage, that's six point two five percent. Okay, so the formula never changes in how you calculate cap rate. The numbers simply change. Okay, the numbers simply change, and as the price goes down, the cap rate goes up. So when you're buying, you want to buy with the highest cap rate possible, and when you sell, of course you wanna buy with the lowest cap rate possible. So remember, our cap rate, when it was a million dollars, was 5%. Was 5%, but what happens if I bought this building 800,000 and now I'm selling it for 1.2 million? I'm selling it at, hold on a second, 
50,000 divided by 1.2. Four point one six percent. So I bought it at a six point two, and I sold it at a four point one six. So you'll hear that commonly when people use cap rates to determine value and income. Okay. So just know that the formula never changes. The variables are on the net income and the purchase price. Okay. So uh, also a very important number that no one talks about is DCR which stands for debt coverage ratio, okay? Debt coverage ratio, DCR. That's how the bank qualifies your mortgage, okay? All they, they don't look at your cap rate. Well, they do, but in the end, they look at the debt coverage ratio. Very simply, just like this, it is a ratio. It takes your net income. Now we know how to calculate net income, right? Gross income minus operating expense gives you net income. Net income over debt service. DS stands for debt service. So your debt service, if you've never heard that before, debt service, that's your mortgage payment. Simple as that. So annual NOI over annual debt service. Very easy example. Let's say your NOI for the year is $20,000, okay? You have a higher gross income, you subtracted your expenses, you got to NOI, you got 20,000 NOI. And let's say your debt service is 20,000. What's your debt coverage ratio? 20,000 divided by 20,000 is one. Your property is break even, okay? It is a break even property. Are you gonna get financing commercially? Probably not. Or you might, they're just gonna ask you for a higher down payment, right? Let's use a different scenario. Let's use, say your NOI stays the same, 20,000, but your uh, debt service is 10,000, okay? Your debt service is 10,000. Now, we simply take 20,000, we divide it by 10,000, what do we got? Two, okay? Your net income is double your debt service, which means you have a coverage ratio of two. That is fantastic. Are you gonna get financing? Hell yes. Should you buy this property? Triple hell yes, okay? If you don't buy this property, I'll buy this property, okay? That's a good debt coverage ratio. The bank, the bank is usually looking for 1.25, okay? Another way of saying that is if your net income is 25% more than your debt service, you got a good property, okay? You got a good property, the bank will lend. Okay, so debt coverage ratio is just as important as cap rate. Both of them together will tell you a very big story. Okay, and if you download my uh, property analyzer tool, it's gonna give you both of these ratios uh, and a hell of a lot more. Okay, so I'm gonna put a link to it below uh, and it'll, it'll sign you up to my newsletter on my email list. You wanna get this tool, it's fantastic. I use it for all my properties and all my clients and I have lots and lots of clients, okay? And one more thing, this little triangle. This is a simple tool. You can write this down uh, in the corner of a piece of paper and you can always figure out cap rate if it confuses you, okay? N signifies net operating income or NOI. P signifies price and C signifies cap rate. If you wanna figure out the cap rate, you simply put your hand over the C and the formula is net income divided by price. If you wanna figure out the price of the property and you only have those two numbers, put your hand over and you take your net income, you divide it by the percentage cap rate and it will give you the purchase price. Same here, if you wanna figure out the net income, take the purchase price, multiply it by the percentage cap rate and it gives you net income. It's a holistic formula, okay?
It's a holistic formula. It's a good one to know. It will make you money. Okay? For more questions on this, shoot me an email. We'll be back next time.